Alright guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew Conger, and you're watching The Small Chef 11. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your special someone an awesome Valentine's meal. If you're like me, I know how to cook, and it's real simple for me, but other people don't know. And if you didn't get your reservations in soon enough, this is a great fallback plan. So, let me show you how it's done. Out here guys, I have my chicken stock, my boyo rice, heavy cream, my lamb chops, and my vegetables, which consist of uh, mini carrots, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and asparagus. And asparagus I just sliced on the bias. On the bias means at an angle like this. All right, now we gotta make sure we salt and pepper our lamb chops. Always use salt and pepper. All right guys, so after you've seasoned your lamb chops, you're gonna wanna flip them over and do the same thing to the other side. All right guys, so you want to make sure we start our risotto first because that takes a really long time to make and you're looking about maybe to 25 to 30 minutes of making risotto. And I know it takes a long time, it does take some patience, but the end result is amazing. So we really need to do this first. And then you can start your lamb chops in the middle of it if you time it just right or you can do it and let the risotto sit a little bit because the rice holds its heat so it'll be just fine. So further ado, let's get this risotto started. Alright guys, I don't know if you can see this, but it's starting to smoke a little bit. And that means our oil is ready. I don't know if you can see that, but it is ready. I want to saute our rice. And when we're doing this, we want to make sure it gets a nice brown color. So we're toasting the rice. This takes about two to five minutes. And you guys might think this pan isn't very hot, but it is. So make sure you watch your rice because it will burn very easily. So make sure you watch this rice. All right guys, I don't know if you can tell if this rice has gotten toasty yet, but it has. It's starting to get brown a little bit. If you guys can see that at all. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna add some white wine to it to deglaze the pan. So we're gonna be adding about two ounces of white wine. All right, now we want to add our chicken stock to it. Don't want it to dry out. And so when you add your chicken stock, you want to add about one cup at a time. You don't want to add too much too fast or it won't turn out good. It has to absorb the rest of this chicken stock in order to add more to it. And to know if you're done, the rice will get puffy and it'll be nice and tender when it's done. Right now it's rock hard. Now this is the part that takes a really long time and you have to be very patient with it because if you're not, you'll just screw it up and it won't be that great. So just make sure you take your time with it and just wait. And you wanna make sure you turn down your temperature so it's over like a medium heat so it's not just rapidly boiling. You just want it to simmer and that's it. All right guys, so now that all that chicken stock has been absorbed through the risotto here, we need to keep adding more until it's ready. Alright guys, so now that my Arborio rice has cooked down, it's almost turning into a risotto. And before that happens, we have to add our heavy cream and we need to add our cheese to it. But before that even happens, we gotta let this reduce just by a little bit more and we need to get our lamb chops started. So you wanna turn on your heat to your other pan and you want over basically a medium or high heat when you do your lamb chops. And also at the same time you want to get your vegetables started. And I have a pan over here on my right to saute. Alright, so now it's time to add our heavy cream. Pour it in here. Now what the heavy cream does makes it very nice and creamy and rich. And once the risotto starts to pick up a little more heat and it starts simmering again, you want to add your cheese to it and it'll thicken it right up. So now let's say you added too much heavy cream to your risotto. It's really runny. Don't worry about it. All you have to do is add your Parmesan cheese to it and it'll thicken it right up really quickly. It'll tighten it up really nicely and it'll come out delicious. So don't worry about it. 
being too liquidy right now. So now we're gonna get these lamb chops started. I'm gonna add some oil to my pan. Make sure you have enough oil in the bottom of your pan to coat it nicely so your lamb chops don't stick. All right guys, so now we're gonna add our lamb chops. And man, just listen to that sear. Doesn't that just sound good? All right guys, since we started these lamb chops, now we're gonna start sauteing our vegetables at the same time. Now we're gonna add a little oil to the pan. Now we're just gonna add our vegetables to my pan. When you're sauteing your vegetables, make sure you add your salt and pepper to your vegetables. You must do this for the flavor. And when you're cooking your vegetables, and when they're done, they'll be firm to the tooth, al dente, that's what it means. So when you bite into it, they're nice and firm, not mushy. All right, so now I'm gonna add in my Parmesan cheese. This is about a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. This isn't the cheap stuff you get at the store. This stuff costs a little bit more money, but this is what you want for the risotto. All right guys, so our risotto has gotten to the point where we need to add our Parmesan cheese. Now this isn't the Parmesan cheese you get out of a bag. This is usually in a round container and it's a little costly, but it tastes really good in there and this is what you need to make risotto. Don't skimp out on this. Now we need to season our risotto. If you have white pepper, that's very preferred. I really don't have white pepper, so I'm not gonna put it in there. But if you do have it, please use it. It makes it look a lot nicer. Make sure you turn down the heat a little bit so then your risotto isn't boiling. You just want it to simmer so it can reduce a little bit more and it'll come together beautifully. And look at these vegetables, they look amazing. They're turning out fantastic. My risotto is a little thin here and what we need to do is let it reduce just a little bit more and it will be ready. Okay, so now we're gonna flip our lamb chops over. And man, don't those look beautiful. They look amazing. Just look at the color on those. I can't believe how well they turned out. We're gonna let these cook for a little bit longer where I'm gonna make these to a medium rare to medium. Now you guys can cook these well done if you want, but I'd like it to be medium. All right guys, so my risotto is done and I'm gonna pull it back here and you can see if you look at it, it goes in slowly and that's what you want. We're gonna set our risotto to the side because everything else is just about ready. And would you just look at these vegetables? They look amazing. They turned out awesome. And I'm gonna just add a little chicken stock here to steam those vegetables so they come out a little more tender. All right, so when you add your chicken stock, make sure you don't add too much because you'll drown the vegetables. You just wanna add a little bit so it steams them. All right guys, so these lamb chops are ready and we're just gonna set these off to the side and then we'll start plating it up. All right guys, you need to treat these lamb chops as well as a regular steak and they need the rest a little bit. Even though they're really small, they still need the rest. They're gonna be delicious. They do look tiny, but man, they are very, very delicious. So I'm gonna plate this up and I'll show you what that looks like here. All right guys, so when we're plating it up here, we're gonna put your risotto right in here in the middle. Then you wanna put your vegetables on top next. And then you wanna put your lamb chops right on there. And just look at that guys, that looks beautiful. That is just immaculate dish right there. I mean, I'm just a stunned by it. I absolutely love this. And I would make this for a Valentine's dinner or for a special event for someone. This is just beautiful. The color contrast, your risotto, your lamb chops, it's just awesome. All right guys, that is how you make lamb chops with sauteed vegetables and risotto. And I hope you guys make this for your loved one. I know it's a little bit harder than some of my other videos, but if you guys do it, you'll nail it and your spouse or your significant other will absolutely love it. So I hope you guys make it for them. And if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're stopping in for the first time, please hit that subscribe button right there. And you guys have an awesome day. And now we're going to do our pepper. Son of a...